Um, for those um, not familiar with this area, this is the Heroes Village. Uh, we call it the Heroes Village because it, the street names are named after our Filipino heroes, Lapu Lapu, Bonifacio. But this is also the home of our sheroes, our seniors um, who really are the cultural bearers of our cultural district. So I want to acknowledge all of them here to the right. With you. Um, but we really want to start the program um, by recognizing um, some of our very special guests um, and the artists that brought this major historic restoration um, brought us uh, today. Um, I want to start with the original artist, a recognition of the original artist. Um, we have, uh, of course, Johanna Pothig, who is the lead artist back in 1984. Who, in her 20s, you know, um, really worked closely with the community to develop the design of the mural. Um, and we are very um, honored today that we are also joined by one, another original artist, um, Presco Tapios is here today. We thank his son for bringing him out here. Um, and you know, again, this would we wouldn't be here if not for their vision and their work um, 40 years ago, exactly. And um, we're also uh, really thankful to have um, one of the original artists is a mentor of mine. He was the one I actually first learned about the mural from. His name is Vicente Clemente, and he has now passed. But um, we're joined here today by his daughters, Nika and Cynthia, um, who's here in the front and their families. So we want to thank them for joining us and um, you know, for continuing the legacy of their father. Um, but we also um, really want to do a special thank you and recognition for the, the artist that brought this new, really vibrant mural to life. Um, and uh, it's been really, um, it, I mean, I, they did it actually in record time and we were really lucky when we first um, talked to Johanna about uh, restoring it. We wanted to make sure that she worked also with the new generation of Filipino artists that's really, if you've looked around the cultural district, there's, uh, we're blooming with art and it's really the Pinay artist that's bringing it to life. So we want to recognize and acknowledge uh, Dev Hirana who is a Bay Area artist. Um, she has a studio in Oakland. Uh, she has deep roots in the Philippines and also um, here in our local communities. Deb is not just a very talented um, artist, but she's also a dedicated mom. And she's a great uh, community advocate, um, at, even at the national level. And she's um, really put a lot of heart um, into the mural, but also has done a lot of advocacy to lift up uh, families, especially those that are underserved um, in our community. So we're really lucky that she was part of this project. Um, and this is Deb over here. <laughs> we're joined here by her kids and her husband and friends. Um, we also want to uh, do a special thank you and um, recognition of um, one of the, also the supporting artists, um, Marielle May Paat. Uh, Marielle, both Deb and Marielle, they actually have their art at the De Young um, Open. Um, they're both incredible um, uh, uh, portrait artists, and that's why they were selected for this work. Um, Marielle has deep roots in San Francisco, and particularly in the South of Market. She's a resident at Roots Division, and currently she's a teaching artist at Galimbata. So she's basically teaching a whole generation of, of young uh, Filipinos and working class kids um, the, the art of really telling our community stories. So thank you, Marielle, for all your work on this beautiful mural. And uh, we also, this could not have been possible also with um, the partnership uh, with neighborhood groups that helped uh, fund this project. So our, the main sponsor for this uh, project is um, Todco. Where is Todd co representatives? So we have John L. Berlin here, or uh, well, we work closely with John and Cheyenne. Um, but um, today we wanted to, um, uh, Johanna has a special gift for Todd Co. Um, and will be received by um, April Venershon, who's our, our co MC today. So uh, 
Ipo also has deep roots in South Market. You know her previously from South Market Community Action Network, and she continues to support the community. She's the uh, board president of Todco, and um, they sponsored um, the mural um, for a hundred thousand dollars, and that's how much you know the cost of the restoration was. And so um, we want to give them a gift, which is uh, a framed photo of the original of the original piece um, and so while the original piece is very beautiful um, and we you know it has its place in history and so we want to make sure we capture it and you know it'll be here in Todco in the community um, and want to just acknowledge and thank uh, Todco and Todco um, owns many of the senior uh, buildings around here later we'll have a representative from 50 Rizal who um, who, all, who allowed us to repay the mural. I also want to acknowledge Pablo here, who has worked on so many murals uh, around the Bay Area. And he, this is a very tall wall, and he jumped up there to get us started and get over our feet. Thank you so much, Pablo. Yeah, so the, all these artists, you know, risked and climbed great heights to, to make this happen. So we really, just thank them because this gift is not just for us here, but for generations to come. Another 40, 50 years, if not more. Can you do one, one photo with all the artists? significant because we're able to we're invited to connect to the histories that precede us and to really find one another in how we want to continue those legacies so if you look up you may notice some of our Philippine national heroes in which these streets are named after um, so Tandang Sora, uh, Lapu Lapu, Andres Bonifacio um, and also more contemporary figures like Victoria Manalo Draves and Pancho Villa. Um, and to honor the different migration stories um, of different agricultural workers, of different farmers and nurses and cannery workers. There's so much history in this mural. And as part of our lineup today, we're so excited to introduce an intergenerational lineup of poets um, who are also instrumental in sharing and documenting that history. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our first poet, um, Manong Oscar Peñaranda. Oscar Peñaranda, through his writing and through his activism, has ensured that our community's stories have long lives, that our collective memories are preserved and remembered. Um, so I'd like to uh, ask Oscar Peñaranda to start our community lineup of poets today. Can we give him a round of applause? Thank you, thank you very much. Um, I am a poet for today, but today we are all going to be poets. I will read you something that I've written to make you realize that each one of us is a poet at heart. And it's called The Poet in You. I am not the dawn, nor the dusk. I am not you, nor he, nor she, nor they. I am the one who stands between you and all the dawns and dusks of time, sleepless like a snake coiled, dying like leaves of autumn, I am the poet in you. Do not deny me, I devastate all. From carbuncles to sequins, 
from the shepherd's staff to the king's scepter, from canvas to Bunsen burner, from the drool of the idiot to the seal of the delicate genius, I strike and run amok when it suits my fancy. So don't even try to contain me. Believe me, I triumph over all. I am the poet in you. Whatever it is that passes me, I perpetuate and make eternal. The cry of the loved bird forlorn in the dark woods, I make eternal for his mate. The mournful song of the jungle flower, unheard, I unleash and make eternal. The utter futility of a fool's heroic dream, I celebrate and make eternal. When you stand face to face with the glow of sunrise on a hill already red with fire, I am there between you. You shall not on a wooded typhoon morning see naked branches sprawled against the ash of sky unless I let you see I am the poet in you. You shall not contemplate a single blade of the rice stalk in the mountain terraces or the flight of the kingfisher across the bay scanned from the deck of an inter-island ship of my boyhood or the weight of fear and betrayal behind the thousand bullets that riddled Emiliano Zapata or the sheen of the mountain lake silver in the moonlight or the bayonet that stilled the solitary walks of crazy horse at nights along his doomed village or a man lying beside his beloved in the woods or the bullet or blade that ripped Bonifacio in the back or a rose petal dripping in silence after the rain. No, you shall not contemplate any of these without first contemplating me. I am the poet in you and I am the killer of death. It is hard and it hurts to even stay up but you wanted to know so with all the humility my pride can muster, I tell you this is where I stand.